Hi YouTube, my name is Lass and today I'm going to show you how I build one of these. Now before we begin I'll show you its features so you'll know what to expect. Almost the entire doser is 3D printed, steel knife. The tracks, steel chains, track pads, they are 3D printed. The sprocket is 3D printed, uh, it's connected to the motor by a steel coupler. I'll, I'll show you. Here we have the motor, right? And then we have one of these. This is 8mm. It goes on right there. And then the sprocket is then bolted on in these four holes. On the belly pan I put a steel plate. The ripper is entirely 3D printed. These are electric actuators. They are pretty good. Uh, they are a little on the slow side but they work very good. They have inbuilt end switches. They stop when they are on top and they stop when they are down low. I can show you how it works. I made a on off switch on, in front here. So on this side we've got the tracks, this side we've got the blade. And this is where I put my ripper. It goes up and down. Go forward. And backward. Left. And right. You go down. You go up. And then you tilt it. So that's how it basically works. Of course, there's stuff going on in the inside too. So this is the inside. It's a mess, I know. So you got five ESCs in there, uh, battery of course, and then you got the receiver. That's probably everything. Let's just put it back. Now that I have shown you the main features of this dozer, let's start building. Before we put in this other motor, we're going to put some threaded rods for here and here. They will clamp this thing together and keep it in place. And we're going to fill this entire chassis with uh, weights, uh, steel weights. And then we can install this. Watching this part is really boring, so I'm going to skip it. There you can see the chassis is empty. Ta-da! Okay. Now there's a little wake in there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this in. And then we're going to continue adding weights. Okay. 
I'll start skipping this video again. This is boring to watch. And... There we go. That's our main chassis done, uh, the bottom part at least. We're going to start adding the top now. We will also put weights inside these fenders. The main chassis is all completed. I'll end the first part of my build right here. Um, I'll continue uploading as I go. If you like this video, uh, please leave me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.